I'm Nathan Page. I'm playing Martin in The Goat. I've done an Albie before, uh, Virginia Woolf, uh, so I know the, the sort of general uh, territory. And it's, it's uh, a tricky territory. It's linguistic acrobatics. It's dynamic, and that means physically dynamic, vocally dynamic. It means just the focus. There's such a, a sharpness and a fluidity at the same time. It's like a meniscus tear in the knee, where if, if you've ever had one, and I have, it's one minute you're fine, and you're walking or running and then out of the blue you're crumpled on the ground. It just gives way because all of a sudden it's bone on bone, nerves, boof. And this is what these characters are like. And what that takes, particularly for Martin who's on stage 100% of the time, it doesn't take 50%, it doesn't take 75%, it doesn't take 95%, it takes 100% of your focus to actually bring what is required for this character. It's like you've been put in a the ball in a pinball machine, someone's pulled the trigger, and there's an hour and a half of your time, you know, <laughs> as, as an actor, and also as an audience member, hopefully. So that's, that's how it feels. You know, and I'm, I'm exhausted at the end of each day. For an audience, the journey should be, by virtue, relatively unexpected. That's the key to it, I think, and it feels like it being inside it. Because it feels like you're being knocked around and, you know, the emotional surprises and the twists and turns really genuinely are uh, heartfelt, particularly for someone like Martin, where things hit him hard. And I think you've got to sort of trip your way through those things uh, relatively lightly to not load it up too much. I think that's where the audience is, you know, is going as well. That's their journey to, to be taken by surprise with those, those wonderful twists and turns. Mm -hmm.